Good morning gang, Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com talking to you. Making a brew, water's in, tea bag's in. Look at that. <laughs> I went out on my motorbike yesterday, got sunburnt, got the uh, tan lines. <laughs> Look at that. Got the tan lines. And uh, you can see where my watch and my beads were. So I've took everything off and I'm going to go out today and try and get it all to match up. <laughs> and what's crazy is that um, this is going to be quite weird. Anybody who's following me, following me will probably stop following me after this presentation because I actually don't believe in a body. <laughs> I actually believe that I'm a projection, you're a projection. You're watching this as a projection. In the old days at the cinema, we used to call them a projector. You know, the, um, the world out there on the screen in the cinema, if you like, you used to look behind you and there was a beam of light projecting the image on the screen. That actually is how I perceive the shit show that's going on in the world at the moment. <laughs> in fact, every aspect of my life I realise now is a projection and um, I'm looking at it in that way. I'm just thinking, mm, that's interesting. Oh, there's me toast. That's, it. That's interesting. Um, what am I going to project today? Or what is this projection that I'm looking at? And when you, when you view things as a projection, when you see things as, if you like, um, this is my Manchester marmalade. <laughs> Although I, I moved here from Wales and I was in Wales for 30 odd years, I actually, um, I'm actually from Manchester. I'm a Manchester lad. Um, so ultimately where I am with everything is I, 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 I view things in the world as an opportunity to think about it I, I actually believe that what happens is that you put things out there I decided actually to have some strawberry uh, to put things out there that I can't work out in here now I'm not saying that I'm right and you might have an opinion about that but what I want to ask you to do today to consider when you're having a brew, making your toast or whatever you do, is um, I'm going to ask you to think about what you're seeing in the world in the same way that you watch your television, your device, you go to the cinema, that you just think of it as a film that you're viewing. Now, sometimes when you are watching a horror film, or an adventure film, or a sci-fi film, or a love film. It's on the screen. And it can make you scared, it can make you laugh, it can make you cry, it can make you excited. But then, somebody will rustle the crisps, or reach into the popcorn, and <laughs> or laugh or something, and then you're distracted by what's on the screen, and you realise that you're sat in the cinema, or you're watching this at home, on your television, because your dog just comes up and licks your leg or something and you think, oh, hang on a minute, yeah. You disconnect from the James Bond film or whatever it is that you're watching. Stroke your dog and then you go back to the film. You can actually do that with life in the world. You can actually realise that a lot of the stuff that you're looking at has got nothing to do with you. It's only got something to do with you if you absorb yourself in it. It's only got something to do with you if you attach to it, if you stay viewing the horror show, the shit show, or the comedy, however you want to see what's going on at the moment. And there's a lot of dreadful things that are being projected to us. And if we put our attention on them, we get absorbed by them like you would in a film, like you would in a movie, watching the television at home. But all you have to do is switch it off. You either switch it off, or you realise that you're just the observer, and actually where you are in that moment, you're quite fine. You're all right, you've got your toast, you've got your brew, and it might, might sound quite selfish this, but it's actually got nothing to do with you. If you did your research, research, you would find that a lot of the stuff that's being projected to us on television isn't true anyway. That's another subject. Or, even if there is some validity in it, it's not as extreme or as bad as it's being projected. 
they're spinning, they're spinning, they're telling you a story. And they're making the story more extreme so that they get an extreme reaction. It's like the stuff that you see on Facebook and Twitter. You know, there's not much good stuff, is there? You know, when somebody posts something that's nice, doesn't get many likes, but if you put a horror story on and something that's got shock, a shock factor, then everybody watching it, everybody sharing it. Oh my God, how shocking is that? And that gets amplified. Think about that when you watch the news. Lots of wonderful things going on in the world. Lots of beautiful people. Lots of lovely, loving stories. Edifying, positive, uplifting stories. But we're not getting that, are we? We're just getting the um, the shock horror stuff. They realised in America, they used to call them shock jocks. You know, we had people like Jimmy Young and um, Tony Blackburn. and Who was that? Irish, uh, Terry Wogan. Mild-mannered. Um, speakers on Radio 2 and Radio 1 brilliant orators nice people but then you've got people like James Whale and Alex Jones from America and people like that who were shouting down the microphone shouting at the government shouting at the world getting angry, getting excited it's a bit like um can't think of the name of them, but they've just took something off television now where people were getting psychologically affected by watching it. It's a, um, a morning programme. People used to go on and get shouted at by the presenter. And um, Jerry Springer was one of them. Can't think of the name of the bloke. And he actually got really badly uh, criticised for it because he was inciting violence and aggression in the studio. But everybody watched it. I mean, everybody loves watching Coronation Street when they know that, you know, there's going to be a bomb plot or, you know, somebody's going to be murdered. <clears throat> and every time Christmas and New Year comes on, they build up the plots. To, you know, it's never a happy Christmas, is it? There's always a big reveal, a big shock horror event at the wedding. You know, the ex turns up, ruins the wedding or... Um, something happens around the dinner table, the big secret is revealed. And it ends with East End just do, 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 do. It's never a happy ending, is it? That's what's going on in the world. Well, when you watch that and you're completely engrossed in it, you know, when you've watched East Enders or something horrific on Coronation Street or, you know, Jerry Springer or whatever, you know, you turn around and you go and make a cup of tea. <laughs> But if you've been continually bombarded with that in your life, it's hard to switch it off. Well, I have processes where you can switch your mind off, where you can be more discerning and you can create peace of mind for yourself, whatever's going on around you, but that's another story. But I just want you to consider today watching this, that what's, what you're watching on television is just a show and it's a shit show. And what's going on in your life and in society is pretty much the same and you can disconnect from it. If you just consider that it's all out there and it's not in here, that it's just a projection and it's not real, just notice how that changes your day, how that changes your mood, how that changes your attitude, how that lifts you. Even if I'm wrong, and that's not how reality is, it feels better even believe in that lie, but trust me, it's not a lie. That's the way the universe works. It's called quantum reality, that we actually project our thoughts out there, that our eyes don't see, our eyes project, that we have thoughts and we project it and it goes from thought to form. And if you start to have positive thoughts, you create positive forms. The formation of the world shifts from something dark to something light, from something heavy to something bright, from something negative to something positive. And it's happier for you to experience that and actually because in the oneness we're all connected on a level of vibration of thought when you cheer up it makes my world better <laughs> and when i cheer up it makes your world better because we're all in this together and if we're all in doom and gloom gloom and we're all in low vibration what we actually see is a low vibration world and that's what hell is low vibration world heaven is a high vibration world so that's quite theological making me toast. <laughs> but 
But if you want to know more about this, I'm here to help. And um, we've known this for thousands of years. It's hidden knowledge, it's called Gnosticism. That the world is a projection. It's a creation of thought, it goes from thought to form. And if you think happy thoughts, you have a happy, healthy body and a happy, healthy, more healthy life. And you can make a happy, healthy world if we all become like-minded and there's a synergy of thought creating the formation of a positive world. But unfortunately, um, there are people who understand this very, very well. We won't go into who they are, but they're actually putting out their thought forms, vibrations and radiations of negativity, which affects us. As I say, we're all connected, which means that... Um, our world is being damaged, but it is all an illusion. It's just a projection. It's a perception deception. So this is probably the most theological, philosophical, <laughs> radical talking to you with the brew that I've ever done. But it's where I am just now. I am engaging with people who are end of life. I'm engaging with people who are in trauma, who are experiencing drama and upset and dis-ease and unrest and anxiety and stress. And as a hypnotist, I realized that if I hypnotize them and tell them to go to sleep, switch the mind off, in that moment, all their problems disappear. Things change because their thoughts have changed because they've accepted my suggestions. And then what I get them to do is be the best hypnotist for themselves so that they can actually do it for themselves. So they're not dependent on me, they're independent of me and they take responsibility for themselves. Responsibility means they have the ability to respond to this shit show, to what's going on that they perceive is out there, but actually is a projection of what's going on in here. They become self-hypnotists and the process is called Genesis. It's all about self-mastery and creating the world that you want to see and then enjoying it because we're here to enjoy life and to be blessed and to be enlightened and to be brightened and when you do that for yourself it has a knock-on effect for everybody else and there's a thing called hundredth monkey syndrome where if 67 percent of any population any hub any tribe any community have a mindset in fact it's 33 percent if 33 percent other communities shift the thinking, it affects the other 67%. So you only need a third of the population or a third of the group of people in your house, under your roof, in your company, in your team, in your workplace, in your society, in your, um, you know, social group. It only needs a third of the mindset to shift and it will automatically shift through thought. It'll be projected out and picked up because you're a transmitter and everybody else is a receiver. And you can shift other people's minds just by shifting yourself through vibration. And the whole thing is just vibration. You're watching me now on a device that's working with vibration. It's called Wi-Fi. And my voice is vibrating from my vocal cords, my voice box to the microphone on my device, and then it's going through the ether, through vibration on the Wi-Fi, and then it's vibrating from your device, from your speaker, and it's being picked up by your eardrums, which vibrate, and then it's being processed in your brain. You are a receiver, and you are a transmitter. I'll stop there. I'm getting into quantum lecture mode. <laughs> I'm gonna get me brew, stop talking to you, and if you wanna talk to me with a cup of tea, you know where I am. Have a wonderful day. Transmit something positive and powerful because you are a transmitter. Be discerning about what you're receiving. And if you don't like it, switch it off. And realise that it's all a projection of thought, either that's instigated from you or is being sent by other parts of you that is everybody else in the world. That's a conversation that we need to have if you don't understand that, that everybody in the world is another aspect of you. And... Uh, and let's cheer ourselves up and have a wonderful weekend. God bless, be powerful, enjoy your mind.